Greetings, I am Tom Earl, and this is my year of... <laughs> That's what I'm about to tell you. So, as you know, last year was my year of expression, and this year is my year of... Almost. So, let's, let me share the story behind how I select my year of. Every year I use New Year's Eve to reflect upon my previous year and decide what was awesome and what is the area that I want to improve, that I want to infuse my focus on because where our focus is, our energy goes. So where do I want to infuse my focus? So I've reflected on my year of expression. If you want to see that reflection, just watch the previous video on my reflections of the year of expression. And I was so excited, so many amazing things happened and it was such a joy. And I started to think, okay, what, what, is, what can I do different? And I started to realize that I was really expressing myself if I was to talk about my, my big buckets, right? As my professional or my mission and my personal, which of course they blend together. But for the sake of clarity, if we were to have them in two different ones, I was expressing myself and getting most of my needs met in my mission, in my profession, in my career, whatever word or synonym you want to use for this. And that the balance was off. That, you know, I was working 18 hour days where I was, I'm the director of a nonprofit, and then I would come home and work on my business till the late hours of the morning, wake up without getting enough sleep and go back at the grind. And in terms of like health, in terms of you know, leisure, relaxing, friendships, relationships, family, all of those things, I wasn't expressing myself as much. So if this was, you know, the balance was just off a little bit. And so I started to think, when will I finally then restore that? When, when will be the day when I will take time to relax with friends and with family? And when will I again start doing things just for play, just for leisure, just for doing them for the sake of doing them with no end game in mind, without it somehow connecting to a mission or somehow, you know, giving me a new networking event or anything like that? When will that day come? And if you saw in the last video I talked about is that if you want something, you need to cultivate it today. And I realized that day is now that I need to create my success around the lifestyle and the fulfillment that I'm looking for. And having imbalance is a non-holistic way to approach success. It's a way where I'll get success, I'll get achievement, but I won't have fulfillment. Where I had to ask myself, at what price do I want my achievement? At what price do I want my success? And I had to answer that and realize, not at the price of my relationships, not at the price of my family, not at the price of my health, my sleep, my enjoyment, there's sometimes where I want to just read a book for the sake of reading a book. And so I decided that, you know what? This is what I'm going to focus on this year. This is my year of drum roll balance. This, my friends, is my year of balance where I'm focusing on the big picture. Let's, let's pull out a little tool, right? This right here, the scalar, right? If so, on one side is my personal and, you know, my personal goals and another side is my professional, knowing that they blend together and feed into each other, where am I on that balance, right? If we were to use this as that one right there, where am I in that balance? And then these right here, even within my personal and professional, am I balanced? And all of those things. And so that's what I'm focusing on this year. And so... A lot of the videos and podcasts and things I talk about are going to be within that, that big vision of having a balanced life where I'm able to get enough sleep and have fulfillment and enjoyment with both friends and in my career. Where I'm taking time to express myself through my music and my poetry and the live events that I do and also at the same time expressing myself through my love languages and sharing that with family and with friends where I'm making sure that I'm on my grind and doing my thing and making sure that I'm getting everything done that I have this big vision for and at the same time making sure that I'm getting enough sleep and relaxing, resting, reading a nice book like Harry Potter or something like that. So that is what I'm focusing on this year and a lot of what you're going to see from me. 
I have three pillars that are in my year of balance. Here they are right here. The first pillar is, you ready for this? Boom, courageous. That in my year of balance, I will need to live courageous. I was just reading in a book that for the achiever, for the type A person, achievement does not take courage, but relaxing does, right? For all of us achievers out there, just getting things done and grinding it, that's our, that's our MO, that's our go-to. What's actually the challenge, what takes the most amount of courage is pausing and sitting in stillness. So I know this year is gonna take courage and I'm gonna lean into that pillar. Here comes my second pillar, creativity. This year is going to continue to be creative for me both in my problem solving and the music and the poetry and the videos. Everything I do is gonna be infused with courageousness, with creativity, and you ready for this last one? Here we go, boom, with celebration. <laughs> and not just the Celebration Academy, but throughout the year, I'm gonna share with you moments of celebration for my day. And I have an extra special friend for that. This right here, I use my friend right here in workshops I do with both children and adults because you know what? We need to have play in our day. We need to make sure we take time to, you know, celebrate our days and hug our friends and infuse some love and silliness into our day. So you'll see my friend right here popping up so we can celebrate. I would love to hear what this means for you. What is your year of balance gonna look like? If you'd like a free gift for you this week is for you to write down a declaration of how do you wanna bring balance to your life. You can get that free writing prompt to make that declaration at tomearl.com slash balance. tomearl.com slash balance. Check it out there, get your free gift and take the declaration of balance. And if you'd like to take this a little deeper, feel free to check out the podcast that accompanies this, which you can also find at tomearl.com slash balance. My friends, I'm so excited to go on this year of balance with you. I hope you join me and learn and discover and have some fun with this. As always, my friends, wishing you peace and blessings. Thank you. Oh, oh, one, one more thing. I'd love to continue the conversation. Feel free to join me at tomroll.com slash join. Subscribe below or let's connect on social media. Tom Earl Artist. Thanks again for watching. Oh, <laughs>